good as y'all boys. It's your boy, Chef King Chef Shalom, back in the building. I'll pray to the most out for another day. Hopefully, you brothers been out there grinding, you know what I mean, handling business, doing what we're supposed to do on the regular. But hey, let me rap with y'all boys real quick, man. All right, bro. I'm, I'm straight freestyling. I don't have no notes on this or nothing. But this is your sign that you need to get out your own way, bro. If, if, if you know that you have goals set and, and you you know what you need to do to, to achieve those goals, but you constantly in your way, like you constantly, dang, I know I need to be doing this, but you know, X, Y, and Z, you are, you are in your own way, bro. And what kind of inspired me to have this, this video to drop this topic, bro. I was on the phone with my homeboys yesterday. Shout out to y'all boys. If y'all watching the video, love y'all boys. I was on the phone with my homeboys and we was just talking, bro. And, and it seemed like, like, they kind of feel like, damn, I'm in my own way because it's certain things I know I need to be doing, but I'm not doing it. You know, I've been there before. It's sometimes that I have moments that I'm in my own way, but I have to quickly, hey, bro, move around, bro. Get, get, hey, get out of the way. You feel me? And that, and and that's what y'all brothers out there who, who may be watching this video need to understand as well. Like, a lot of times it be you in your own way. So, for example, if you know you need to stop smoking trees to to get this job or you know that you know you need to be doing certain things to build your business up but you constantly being lazy you constantly making excuses and 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 knowingly doing this stuff and not holding yourself accountable dog you got to get out your own way or you never going to see the level of success that you envision for yourself like it's it's on no it's 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 only on you, bro. It ain't nobody else that can make you do or not do what you need to do to get the way you trying to go. You know, sometimes you'll have, you know, shout out to BOA. Sometimes you'll have enemies of your success who will try to, you know, deter you off you know, purposely. But once you're so locked in with the Most High, you can maneuver around them. They they in your way. Okay, you're roast up. You know what I mean? Let me get from around you, bye. You know. But when it's you. You got to look yourself in the mirror and be like, hey, bro, I'm on bullshit. You know, some of me and my homeboys be like, hey, you on bullshit, bro. Like, you, you, you're, on, you're on complete and utter bullshit. You feel me? And once you kind of, you know, you know what, bro, you right. I'm on bullshit. Let me tighten up. And then you tighten up, bro, you start to see you getting closer and closer to where you trying to be at. You feel me? But like I said before, it takes for you to get out of your own way. If you know that you're trying to achieve a certain physique, bro, you know that you got to eat right. You know that you got to work out. You know that you got to drink your water and, and cut out sugars and stuff. Me and one of my homeboys was talking yesterday. He was like, bro, I want to see my abs more. And I'm like, yeah, there's two ways you can go about it. But if you do both ways, you really locked in. One, it's, it's, it's your diet, bro. If you have a lower percentage of body fat, you're more likely to see your abs. Me personally, I don't work out abs. I'm, you know, I'm a slim kind of cut build guy. You feel me? I'm not no big dude. You know, I'm, I'm about 5'10". I ain't super tall or nothing like that. You feel me? But, you know, I can see my abs. I don't do any ab exercises. Like, I don't do ab exercises. You feel me? Like, I just, y'all already know me. Like, my, my dieting is on A1 point. So, I can see my abs no issue. But for the brothers who may not eat as clean as me, you know, yeah, you may have to do ab exercises, but to really see your abs, bro, you're going to have to lock in on that diet, period. You know what I mean? So me and him was talking, and I told him that. I'm like, bro, for you to really achieve the abs that you really want to see, you're going to have to, A, you know, work out, work out hard on your on your abs, and, and B, get that diet right. Once you get that diet right, you cut them sugars out, you cut the sweets out, bro, the sky is the limit on how far you can take your physique, bro. A lot of you brothers know that, hey, man, I shouldn't be eating this, so I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be watching no porn. And But sometimes I get bored, bro. When you're in, when you're getting bored, you have to go give yourself something to do. I don't care if it's something to take your mind off. Go do some push-ups. Go, go outside and just go sprint. You feel me? It sounds crazy, but it's something that'll help you, you know, hey, damn, I almost flaked. I almost... Uh, I almost was flagrant in that moment and did something that was going to hurt my hurt my progress or slow me down. That's good. Get out your way, bro. That's you getting out of your way. So anytime you, you know, you have an idle mind or you bored at the crib, you ain't got nothing to do. 
Go find something to do, but damn, let me go do 100 push-ups real quick. But I guarantee by the time you do them 100 push-ups, you are not trying to do whatever it was that was finna get you in, get at, like, that was finna get you to slow you down type shit. You, you weren't finna do nothing else. You're not doing anything that's gonna slow you down after that, bro. Like, go do you 200. If 100 too light, go do 200. Do, do something challenging that's gonna trigger your brain to like, hey, I ain't even trying to do that no more, like, whatever I was on. So... I ain't want this video to be long, y'all boys. I just need y'all to really lock in on what y'all trying to do, dog, and hold each other accountable. Hold yourself accountable, bro. Look out for yourself because if I'm not around, if your homeboy's not around, who going, who's really out there looking out for you? It should be you, you know? But, hey, what I tell y'all boys is the message apply to you, you charge it to the game. If it don't, you keep it pushing. It's your boy, King Chef Shalom. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I definitely appreciate everybody who be showing love. We continue to grow. All praise to the Most High. Shalom, y'all boys.